Um, Editor Anya here. I just want to apologise for the audio in this video. I don't know what's wrong with it. It sounds weird. So, I do apologise for that. So, hope you enjoy the video. So, I've been stuck in a rabbit hole. Like Alice falling in to see Wonderland. I've been needing to see what are in random strangers' bags. Whether it's a celebrity or a complete YouTube stranger, I've been needing to see what are in these people's bags. So I thought, you know what? I've only got one other video on this channel. I need to show people what's in my bag. Because then, maybe people will watch it. I'm going to show you what's in my bag, even though I am a complete nobody. I feel like you're going to enjoy seeing what's in this sack of despair and clutter and mess that I like to call a handbag. So this bag is from Asda. It's designer. It was around 15 to 18 pound. I think it might have been 18 pound. Now, I have a big bag. I don't understand. I watch these videos and I don't understand how people can deal with such little bags. I don't understand. Like, they have these little Gucci bags, these little backpacks. And I'm like, how on earth can you fit anything in there? I need a lot of stuff. So, first of all, I, w I would of course have my phone, but that's what I'm using to film because I can't afford a camera. So we've got a phone. Please don't come for me. I know it's not a professional filming studio. It's sitting in my living room against the black blankest backdrop I could find. But of course have my phone in here or in my hand. It would usually be in my hand or in my pocket because I am like the rest of the world, attached to it. And I have my purse. This is from River Island, as you can see, it's black. My aesthetic is black. And I have, I'm one of those that has a lot of cards. Oh no, that was my provisional license. Crap, let's, let's see, let's, let's make a mess and see what cards I have. I find cards so satisfying. I love them. They just, they make me happy. A card for my auntie's hairdressers, which technically I don't need because I get my hair done for free. I got this card from the Liverpool, the Liverpool Museum. It just says breathe on it. I forgot to. My Morrison's card, my provisional license. I look like a serial killer. Credit card, or not, my, my debit card, I should say, my debit card. My Nando's card, this is the best. My co-op card, which I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it it's one pound to join the membership. Oh my God, the amount of times I've lost this card. My Superdrug card, my Starbucks card, which is really, really pretty. Another Starbucks card, Cafe Nero cards, another Starbucks card, a Nectar card because I am 50, a Tesco Club card, an Iceland card, a Primark card, a Cineworld card, a Costa card, Matalan card, and a WH Smith's card. Yeah, I've got a lot of cards. And a picture of my boyfriend and me. And I've got, ooh, ooh! Is that a coupon for Morrison's? Okay. Tattoo card. I don't have any tattoos. And then I've got two Morena cards. Really, I should get rid of one. If you don't know what a Morena is, a Morena is the cop is a coil. It's an IUD. I'm not getting pregnant. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I've got a ten pound note. I can see a few pound coins in there. Which means I have money. Next is this bag. This is my medical bag. I have my medication sign medication which I take. And I've got some pads which is weird because I don't have my period anymore because of the coil. So really I have this to be a good Samaritan. 
um, I got this. Now, this was meant to be for a metal straw, but I have put my hair clips in there. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six lip balms, which is a bit much. I've got a Burt's Bees one, a Lipsal one, an O'Keefe's one, which, oh my god, is amazing. Please, if you get the chance, buy it. The O'Keefe's Lip Repair. I'm a lip chewer, so my lips get chapped in that a lot. This has saved my life. And I've got a Burt's Bees one and a chapstick and two Vaseline's. And then I have hand sanitizer because life isn't sanitized anymore. You have to be sanitized all the time. So just wash your hands, please. You're gonna wonder, have these come in a set? Yes, they did. So in, this is my makeup bag. This is because I have a thing, a terrible, terrible disorder called I can't get out of bed itis. It plagues me every day. And when I need to go to school or somewhere, I don't do my makeup at home like I should. I do a simpler version in my car. Now, in my last video, I showed you what makeup I do. That's the makeup I do in the car. That's why it's so simplified. That's why there's no face products and stuff like that. Right now, I'm wearing a full face makeup. Pretty darn cool. But usually, I will either be in the car, in form, when I was in sixth form, I just do my makeup in form quickly, or in the study, I would do my makeup, so I'd, there'd be no point doing makeup anyway, because it would have been half a day already, and I'm like, I look like a thumb, I need to sort this out. Scrunchie in here, I don't really wear scrunchies, because my hair's quite thick, and they don't hold it, they don't hold my hair up, but in case a friend needs one, there we go. If a friend needs a scrunchie, I've got one for you. The last sensational primer mascara. This stuff is cool. This stuff is the darn coolest. However, it does not come off. <laughs> if you need this to come off in a hurry, <laughs> not happening. You need to have full on like, I take my makeup off with baby oil. You need a butt ton of baby oil to get this stuff off. It's really cool. And then the mascara that goes with this is the Last Sensational Mascara Lash Multiplier by Maybelline. These two together, really good. Recommend Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. The Maybelline Push Up Faux Sills. Why does that faux sills? Faux, faux kills? I don't know. Push up angel mascara by Maybelline. Baby roll mascara. Miss Baby roll mascara by L'Oreal. Doll eye mascara by NYX. Now all of these mascara. I have a lot of mascaras because I like to put a lot of mascara on. When I don't have falsies, like I do right now. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I'm not very good at putting them on, but as you can see, the innards. Uh coming off but there you go but when i don't wear falsies which is most of the time i will have mascaras and i have a lot of them the mac lipstick in will i stole it off my sister i have this primark lipstick i don't know what color it is i wish it did it came in a pack and then i have the lighter version of that and i have this red by Technic. I will usually go for red, but recently I've been really liking brown because it brings out the colour of my eyes. This was a gift, an Urban Decay Petite Heat Palette, and this highlight colour is lovely. It's gorgeous. And I have the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Bronzer wearing it right now. And this is more for the mirror. Then I wouldn't put this on every day because to me, putting that on skin, it just comes off. This concealer. This concealer makes your face look like a pillow. It is gorgeous. It is a Revlon Photo Ready Candid con Antioxidant Concealer in 010. And for highlighting that, it just it blends into any foundation beautifully. Packaging is gorgeous. And I love the little applicator. I don't know why, 
it it's not a dog foot one, it is, but it's like the dog foot is like trying to do a plie. Is that the right thing? I don't think it is, but the it looks like the foot of a of a ballerina. Then I have a few eyebrow a blended brushes. I bought a pack of six off Amazon and they are crap. Collection Extreme Celtic Liner. Any liner, that's a pen, I'll use because it's just so easy. I do also use dip ones if they've got a specific applicator. But because I use pens every day, I might as well use them on my eyes, innit? In it. Then I have some lash glue by Duo. This stuff, this stuff rips your eyelid off. And it is it says do not freeze it. That is exactly what I was gonna do. Gutted. It doesn't smell a butt. It just it, it looks amazing and it's good on the eyelashes. It's great. I love it. I love it very much. But then you worry that you're gonna rip your eyelid off. Then I've got a red by Technic, a red lip liner. Two eyebrow pomades. I have the NYX Tame and Frame in black and the eyelaw pomade in dark brown i use this one a lot because it's so creamy this one had struggles it doesn't really come through very much i think it's more to tame your brows and to fill them in the filling in part's just a bit of a you know it's, it's a little bit tinted i mean it's completely black but then it's still it doesn't quite come on go onto your eyebrow but then that might be because I don't always wear primer. I've got an eyelash curler from a random I, I just bought it. And then the UGU brow and lash gel by collection which I think is meant to look quite glossy and it just looks messy now. And it's hard to believe that all this stuff fits in this little bag. Oh I don't need the bronzer anymore. Because I have a mirror. I bought this off Amazon. It's just a mirror like that. There you are. Hold on, can I find you? Can I find you? Can I find you? There you are. Hello. Oh, God. Jesus. For my eyebrows, because as you can see, I'm very dark. So my eyebrows come out. When they grow out, they grow out. So I have, it has, there was a pack of three, but now it's only two, because I've lost one. Then I have this brush. It was from Primark, nearly it. Oh, now... I, I tried to film this before and I just didn't like it. And um, when I filmed this video before, all of the like not there was only one diamante left, and that curly diamante is gone. And it says I washed up like this. It's covered in hair. Don't look at that. Yes, yeah, it it's and it's got a little aerial there. Oh, we got my keys. Now my keys has this lanyard on. I'm gonna give you some education. This lanyard says when you have like an invisible illness or an invisible disorder which can affect you out in the world and with what I have I can show this in a supermarket and people around should know what it means a way of saying like hi I'm not right pops on here this little thing that is a P this is a fidget toy and it comes out like that which is really really you. And I've got my keys, RCG2, of course. A C for my boyfriend. I love him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I talk about my boyfriend, I'm like, ooh, no. Then I've got an adapter for my laptop because I have a laptop air that uh, now only has a USB C port. So I have an adapter so I can plug a USB in there and hopefully get some work done. And then I've got two roll ones roll on stuff. I've got the Dove Invisible Dry roll on and Old Spice. Because Old Spice smells like a fancy, fancy candle. Like oh it smells it reminds me a bit of something from Blush. Yeah, it reminds me of something from Blush. Then I have this spray. This you can't swim with a spray by Material Girl. And it's it's a, it's a, I'm gonna spray myself. It's a nice smell. It's green mandarin and water lily. Then I have a glasses case, and then the glasses are here. So, yeah, and these are from Primer. Oh my god, we don't even look. Oh my god, I'm on right. There we go. Yeah. I best put these actually in there. Boom. 
then I have some wire. I've got some wire earphones, and I've got some wireless earphones. Because you never know which one you want. And I've just got some chewing gum, and that's basically it. The rest is like I've got a pair of scissors in there. That's a bit worrying. I've got some pens and pencils in there. I've got a metal straw in there because I care. This little adapter thing for for so you can charge your phone and listen to music at the same time. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you want, if you'd like to know whenever I'm posting a video, which is not very often, but if you want to really know when they come up, press the bell, press subscribe, like the video, comment down below, what's in your bag? What's the way that I can make this bag better? Is there any bags that you know of that I might like? You know, just let me know. I want to know what's in everyone else's bags. I'm so nosy. So you might as well tell me. <laughs> I wish video responses were still a thing because that would be so fun to just have everyone video response what's in their bag. That would be so cute. But sadly, they don't, YouTube doesn't do that anymore. Take care. Bye.